Hello. Today we shall talk about management and monitoring of workability and early support. What does this mean? Why we are doing this and how? My name is Päivi Rauramo and I work as a chief specialist uh, in the Center for Occupational Safety. Workability management, monitoring and early support means practices agreed upon in writing between the workplace and its occupational healthcare provider that aim to promote employees' ability to work and prevent incapacity for work throughout one's career. Workability can be supported in several different layers. And at work, <coughs> workplaces, supporting workability relates to daily management and planning and preparation of operations based on jointly agreed upon practices. A description of these measures includes drafting and processing of the measures in cooperation, recognizing the need of early support and providing it, content and use of the measures, forms used as aids at the workplace, service lists, memos, bringing workability up in discussions and occupational healthcare negotiations. Sickness absence management system, notification practices, how the information is delivered to occupational health care, summaries and processing of summaries, support for report returning to work. And implementation, implementation, reporting and realization of workability, monitoring and analysis of impacts. Taking care of one's own health and ability to work forms the foundation of the personal health and well-being. One's ability to work and perform varies during the long work career. Factors that reduce one's ability to work include, for example, illness, long-term harmful stress at work, both mental and physical, as well as personal lifestyle and life situation. A person's workability can be supported at the workplace in multiple ways. When workability is diminished, either temporary or permanent arrangements and changes can be made based on needs and possibilities. Here you can see the different layers of workability promotion. Number one is the workability promotion and work-related illness prevention for the whole personnel. Secondly, early support activities for those having problems and symptoms. And thirdly, back-to-work support after sick leave or another long period of absence, including contact practices during the absence. And here you can see the model main stages of early support. Workability promotion includes targets for improving workability, individual health and functional capability, working environment, work community, competence and management and leadership. And the possible reasons for diminished workability can be physical and mental illnesses, harmful stress at work, problems with competence and work management, factors related to aging, substance abuse problems and stressful life situation. And then means of individual support and promoting workability. Developing the work and work environment to be safe and healthy. Promoting a healthy lifestyle. Improving ergonomics and procurement of tools and aids. Development discussions. Model of replacement work agreed upon jointly at the workplace adapting work tasks, fixed term or temporary work 
and working time arrangement and flexibility. Reorganization of work, work rotation. Professional guidance, training, coaching, orientation, individual support services of occupational health care, career counseling, workability coordinator activities, possibility of part time sickness allowance, rehabilitation, work trial, rehabilitation survey, career choice and career planning, professional rehabilitation, rehabilitation support and retain training and also partial pension uh, solutions. And then the roles and responsibilities of different actors. It is important to describe the duties and responsibilities of the various cooperative parties in the early support model to ensure that the operations become systematic, long-term and fruitful. When the task and division of responsibilities are defined in advance, it ensures smooth operation and facilitates solving situations quickly. Duties of the super supervisor. The supervisor systematically monitors risks related to health and workability, as well as the workability and absence of staff directs an employee to occupational health care if there is a health issue, has the early support discussion with an employee. Health reasons that restrict a person's workability should not be discussed in the early support discussion without the employee's approval. The supervisor begins to look into the matter and takes corrective measures if the early support discussions indicate that the work performance is hindered by factors related to the lack of expertise or working atmosphere at the workplace. If necessary, documents the matters agreed upon jointly in the discussion on a form designed for the purpose. Health information or other sensitive information is not documented makes the necessary changes to working conditions or the content of the work together with the employee, cooperate with the co occupational safety delegate and occupational safety officer. Then the duties and the role of human resource management, monitor staff absences, cooperates with supervisors, occupational health and safety, occupational health care and external partners, participates in occupational health negotiations if needed, plans and develops matters related to the promotion of occupational well-being, coordinates the implementation of a possible resignment together with the supervisors, leads and coordinates communication with possible external parties and cooperate with the occupational safety delegate and occupational safety officer when there is a need and ensures that the workplace operation model takes into account the employee's option to invite an occupational safety delegate or other support person into the early support discussion. Then the duties of occupational health care. <clears throat> Healthcare monitors sickness absences and a person's workability and possible health uh, limitations. When needed, organizes an occupational health negotiation based on doctor's visit or at the initi initiative of the workplace. Ensures whether the employee wishes to have an occupational safety delegate or other support person with him in the negotiation and invites them to it. Assesses the need for treatment and or rehabilitation, initiates it and arranges, arranges its monitoring. Conducts an assessment of workability in relation to a specific work task as agreed and issues a written statement on it. 
is in constant cooperation with the employee and the supervisor and provides specialist help when changes are being made to the work. Cooperates with OHS delegate and manager when there is a need. Ensures that the negotiation required by the Health Insurance Act are held and prepare, prepares the related statements. Occupational health care always operates confidentially and they are bound by an obligation to confidentiality with regard to the health uh, information. And then additionally, duties of occupational safety personnel. To participate in the workplace risk assessment, workplace surveys, realization of personal surveys, and monitoring of sickness absences. Planning, developing, and evaluating the operations of occupational health care in the Occupational Safety Committee or other similar body. The occupational safety personnel also make suggestions to develop occupational health care and build shared procedures and models. The occupational safety delegate may support the employee in operational health negotiations. If you need more and information and if you are interested to learn more, uh, we have a booklet called Management and Monitoring of Workability and Early Support, which can be found on our internet page. The purpose of this guide is to help workplaces to create and implement an early support model to help ma and maintain employees' workability. The goal is to notice when a person's ability to work is diminished and implement support measures as early as possible. Thank you.